I, first of all, hi everybody, it's me, Steve. I wanted to talk about Michael, Ian Black, coming into town and not telling anybody, not calling anybody, <clears throat> uh, not to give him a hard time about it, but to actually share that I'm very much the same way, like, I was just giving Michael a hard time, uh, because that's what we do <laughs> to each other on this YouTube channel. Um, I obviously wouldn't expect Michael to call me, uh, not like in a way that, yeah, he's a dick. I wouldn't ex expect him to call me even though that's probably true, but more because I'm the same way in that uh, I just don't like dealing with the pressure of having to coordinate. And this is something that I feel guilty about a lot. I really don't go out of my way to keep in touch with people, um, to hang out with people. Granted, when I am hanging out with my friends, it's awesome. I love my friends. That's why we're friends. When we're hanging out. It's great. It's just the process of calling, phone tag, or email tag, or texting tag, and then trying to find a middle ground to meet, or in Michael's case, if you don't have a car, well, you have to come to Pasadena, and then... It seems like such a fucking pain in the ass. And especially when you're in town for just one day, but even then, it's just like, I don't want to leave my house. I like my apartment. I like sitting in my apartment. <laughs> it's comfortable. I don't have to deal with anybody. But about 80, 85 to 90 percent of the time when I do make an effort and go out and see my friends, it's awesome. It's just that process. Um, and it reminded me of this really funny story. A year ago, there's a, a fairly new comedy festival in Portland, Oregon called the Bridgetown Comedy Festival. It's happened about three, three or four years now. I didn't go this past year, but I went the year before, and I love Portland a lot. I really love Portland. And um, so I was going up to this festival. I was going up for about a week. The festival was only like four days, but uh, I just wanted to stay longer. And the thing is, I have friends that live in Portland quite a few friends that live in Portland and um, I didn't tell any of them that I was going up to Portland. Namely, one of my friends, Brett, who I was best friends with throughout high school, pretty much throughout college and like for years afterwards, but, like we were close, like brothers and um, like, we're still great friends, but you know, Brett got married had kids, they moved to Portland, you know, and when you have a family, you kind of have to give mo most of your time to that, and um, so we kind of fell out of touch, we're still friends, that hasn't changed, but like, you know, I have friends that I hang out with more now who don't have families, it's just easier that way, anyway, what I'm getting at is, this guy who I'd been through so much with, like one of my best friends, you know, for like half my life, I didn't tell that I was going to Portland to do a comedy. I was doing like three shows, three shows in Portland. He could have come to any one of them. I didn't tell my friend I was going to Portland. In fact, I might, I might even have talked to him and said I wasn't going to Portland. Like, 
Oh, that's what it was. I think I talked to him like months and months and months before saying, you know, hey, in April, I'm going to be up in Portland for this comedy festival. He's like, oh, let me know. I'll come to your shows. Months went by. I went up to Portland. Never told my friend. So one day, me and this comedian, Tig Nataro, we go out for this walk, and we're walking along the river. And fucking... <laughs> I ran right into my fucking friend and his wife and kids. Like, boom. Like, couldn't even avoid... It wasn't one of those things where I was like, oh shit, there's my... There's somebody I know. I can't be seen. Boom. Like... Like, I didn't notice him until we were looking each other right in the face. And I was like, uh... uh. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck are you doing up here? <laughs> what are you doing in Portland? Uh, I had to fucking stammer and fucking backtrack. It all turned out okay. You know, I came to my last show in Portland, which was great. It was this place called the Baghdad Theater, which is huge. And... Um, it was fine, but it was just really awkward because I was the asshole who didn't call him. It wasn't because, you know, I didn't want to see him. I just didn't. And that's another thing when I'm doing shows. I don't know if you get this, Michael, but like when I do shows, even locally in town, I don't tell anybody, especially my friend. I'll tweet about it. You know, people who are following me can come to my shows if they want. But I make a point not to tell friends or family. Because usually when I do a show, I do my set and I like to go back home or go to my room, you know, if, if I'm in another town and I don't want to fucking deal. This video is going on way too long. But, uh, and then the other thing is, you know, you invite your friends to the show, you know, you get to the theater and for like half an hour before the show, you're dealing with phone calls and text messages from those friends going, hey, I'm not on the list. Can you come out front? Hey, where do I get part? That kind of shit that you just don't want to deal with half an hour before a show. So basically, I, I, I just got busted when I was in Portland. And it was just... I guess the whole point of this seven and a half minute sad, sad conversation is to say, Michael Ian Black, I get it. 